I was here last year, uh, it was my second trip, and I visited the people in Chulemu, I stayed with them, and I had a meeting with them and I asked them, you know, what would you like, what could Himalayan Development Foundation, what could we do for you um, that would have a, a meaningful impact in your lives? Their number one request was toilets. They asked us if we could come up with um, a better toileting method for them. But, but you know, in looking at it, it makes an awful lot of sense. Uh, the current toileting methods are not very sanitary. Second behind that was improved agricultural methods so that we can produce more crops or different crops that we can then sell on the market. Uh, so we did some research. We came up with a, uh, a plan, a model, if you will. It's called the EcoSan toilet. It's a composting toilet, and it's used in many developing worlds, including uh, it's being used in Nepal and other areas. The benefit of the EcoSan toilet is that compost, which then gets spread on the field. And by spreading it on the field, um, you increase the yield. So we, we researched that. We talked to people who had used it, other NGOs who had deployed it, and uh, it looked like it was uh, the right way to go. This trek, we're going to be starting what we call uh, toilets in Toxindu. Um, we're going to build one toilet, one composting toilet, in the village of Chilemu. There are carpenters who have done this um, in other locations in Nepal, and they're coming here to uh, teach the carpenters here how to do it. So once they know, uh, the local carpenters know how to do this, um, then they'll be able to, to build more toilets in the future. All the materials for the toilet will be uh, collected on site, with the exception of a couple of things, such as the, the corrugated metal roof and the porcelain toilets themselves. Um, those two things have to be uh, brought in from Kathmandu, have to be brought in uh, then on, on pack animals and, and ultimately the backs of, of, of porters to the, the location where they're going to be installed. The villagers do have some, some skin in the game because they're, they are required to uh, collect the rocks and the stones that are needed to build the structure, uh, gather uh, the sand or collect the sand from the, the river basin uh, and haul it up all up to um, uh, their home. They are responsible for clearing the site and they're also responsible for putting in 50% of, uh, of the effort. Uh, we like the idea that they have some skin in the game. We think that that really makes uh, the project much more meaningful and hopefully will be uh, more successful. We will build more toilets for all those uh, villagers who want them. There are 28 families in the village.